Hi there! Welcome to English for Everyone. My name's Lisa. And my name's Kevin. Today we're going to learn how to use dozen, thousand, and other numbers like these correctly. And we're going to point out some common mistakes that we need to avoid, like this one. This is a dozen of eggs. So let's see how to use dozen correctly. A dozen is 12. For one, we say a, a dozen. It's one unit, but it's 12 things. So example, a dozen roses. We cannot say a dozen of roses. Of cannot be used in this case. Only a dozen roses. Or you can say a dozen eggs. Or a dozen donuts. It means 12. What if you have more than 12? Okay, if you have 24, you can say two dozen. I have two dozen roses. Or three dozen, four dozen, five dozen. But we cannot use S here. I cannot say dozens. Even though it's more than one dozen, we cannot put S on dozen. It has to stay singular. Five dozen roses. Three dozen roses. So remember, two dozen roses, well that's 24 roses. Three dozen roses, that's 36 roses. So, can I ever say dozens? Can I ever use the connector of? Yes, you can. If there is no number, you can use dozens of. There are dozens of parks in my neighborhood. There are dozens of parks in my city. That means 36 parks, maybe 48 parks. There are dozens of parks in my city. Let's practice. Do you have a dozen roses? Yes, I have a dozen roses. Does she have a dozen roses? That's right. She has a dozen roses. Let's practice. Do you need to buy two dozen eggs? Yes, I need to buy two dozen eggs. Does she need to buy two dozen eggs? That's right. She needs to buy two dozen eggs. Very good. Let's practice. Did you buy a dozen donuts this morning? Yes, I bought a dozen donuts this morning. Did she buy a dozen donuts this morning? That's right. She bought a dozen donuts this morning. Very good. Let's practice. Are there dozens of parks in your city? Yeah, there are dozens of parks in my city. Are there dozens of parks in her city? That's right. There are dozens of parks in her city. Very good. And these rules that we learned about dozen and how to use dozen correctly also work for other numbers like hundred, thousand, million, Billion and even trillion. Let's look at hundred first. Example, a hundred dollars. If I have two, three, four hundred dollars, I cannot use S and say hundreds. I have to keep it in singular form, hundred. Five hundred dollars. And remember, we cannot use of. I cannot say five hundred of dollars. Five hundred dollars only. Example, I bought a new sofa. It cost seven hundred dollars. So, can I ever say hundreds? Can I use the preposition of? Yes, if there is no number. Example, hundreds of houses were damaged in the storm. There's no number, two, three, four, five, just hundreds. Hundreds of houses were damaged in the storm. Let's practice. Did you buy a new sofa? Yeah, I bought a new sofa. How much did it cost? It cost $700. Did she buy a new sofa? How much did it cost? That's right. She bought a new sofa and it cost $700. Very good. Let's practice. How many houses were damaged in the storm? Hundreds of houses were damaged in the storm. How many houses were damaged in the storm? That's right. Hundreds of houses were damaged in the storm. Very good. Let's take a look at thousand. That's right. Thousand is in a singular form when you have numbers. Two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, a hundred thousand. Example, you can't buy a car today for less than twenty thousand dollars. It stays in the singular form. I cannot say thousands and there's no preposition of. You can't buy a new car for less than twenty thousand dollars. Can I say thousands? Yes, you can say thousands of if there's no number. Example, it took thousands of hours to repair the damage. Again, it took thousands of hours to repair the damage. 
Let's practice. Can you buy a new car for less than $20,000? No, you can't buy a new car for less than $20,000. Can you buy a new car for less than $20,000? That's right. You can't buy a new car for less than $20,000. Very good. Let's practice. Did it take thousands of hours to repair all the damage? Yes, it took thousands of hours to repair all the damage. Did it take thousands of hours to repair all the damage? That's right. It took thousands of hours to repair all the damage. Very good. What about million? That's right. Million too. I cannot say millions. I keep it in a singular form. Three million, four million, ten million, a hundred million. It's always in a singular form. Example. Two million trees were planted last year. Two million trees. I cannot say millions if I have a number. And I cannot use the preposition of. Only two million trees were planted last year. Can I ever say millions? Sure, if there's no number. Millions of people. Millions of dollars. Example, millions of people are going to vote in the next election. Millions of people are going to vote. Let's practice. How many trees were planted last year in this state? Two million trees were planted in the state last year. How many trees were planted last year in this state? That's right. Two million trees were planted in this state last year. Very good. Let's practice. Are millions of people going to vote in the next election? Yeah, millions of people are going to vote in the next election. Are millions of people going to vote in the next election? That's right. Millions of people are going to vote in the next election. Very good. Thank you for watching. And if you want to get your questions or comments noticed, you can join our channel and become a member. And again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.